Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Priyanka and you're watching Vidhi Mantra by Priyanka. Okay, so today's video, that is my first video on YouTube, is going to be about my perfume collection. My personal favorites and I would give you honest reviews about the same. I have tried a lot of perfumes in my life but uh, these are the, these are certain fragrances which I'm going to show and review it to y'all, which is my personal favorite, and I really love to use them. It's like my friends know when I'm there when they smell those perfumes, you know, it's just like signature perfumes. They might be quite old, or probably they might be not new, but then I still am stuck by it because those are my absolute favorites. The first perfume and my absolute favorite perfume is like whenever I spray it and I go in, it's like wow, it feels so good. Is Azaro Chrome, okay? Azaro Chrome a vaporizer spray, okay? So, this I just sprayed out the ingredients here also. It has alcohol, perfume, fragrance, aqua, water, then uh, it has citral, uh, then it has. Uh, all the other chemicals which you need in a perfume yeah blonde moments so the bottle looks like so and i know all of y'all love this perfume most of y'all love this perfume so this is the azaro bottle and you know i've been so nosy in using this like i've just used this much okay and so okay so the cost for this perfume is on my right and it costs uh, it cost me around 4,700 bucks in India and if you're going to shop in Dubai it will cost you something around 4,000 bucks like 700 less Perfume number 2 and my absolute favorite number 2 is CK Into You I know guys this is like a very old edition but I'll still buy it even when I turn 60 I'm not going to get over this perfume. This perfume is like life and I love CK. So, the perfume bottle looks like this and it's, it's so nice. It has CK into you for her. Okay, so basically, this is a lady's perfume and it's so fresh. It's very fresh. It's like slightly fruity flavor. Like fruity and not slightly strong and fruity. Like Again, same ingredients, nothing so fancy about it. But it has lemon in it, I'm sure. And the price for this perfume bottle is here, and it costed me something around 3500 in India. And if you go to Dubai, it costs you something around 2800 So it's like a good deal to buy. Third favorite perfume is by the brand Bohem, that is Bombay Pepsi. So this is a perfume which I got to from Westside. Okay, I don't know if they still sell it, but you get it online. And uh, I got it from the Cactus store basically. So this perfume costed me something around 2000 rupees. And uh, it looks like this. The bottle is not too fancy, but the yeah, is really nice. and very feminine, fruity, slight in mind and doesn't give you a headache for people who have headache problems with perfume you should try this this, this perfume cost me around 2000 I don't know if you get it abroad but yeah, this perfume is a shit perfume number 4 is by the brand Miniso so people, I don't know if Miniso you've heard about it, it's a Japanese brand and uh, basically you find it in uh, malls, uh, not every mall but certain premium malls you find this brand at. So this is a perfume from Miniso Japan and it's called as Pink Love Perfume. It's, the packaging is very girly and trust me on this guys, the bottle is even girlier. Like the bottle is so cute and it looks so cute. Like it is pink in color and it has a heart and a bow and it had a ribbon. I misplaced it. So the ribbon looked really cute and oh, this is very fruity, very fruity, like if I'm applying this, I'm going to myself because it's very 
fruity on the fragrance. And I think I got this perfume for about 2500 So yeah, this is worth the price of paying. Miniso has cheap perfumes, but this one was the most expensive perfume in Miniso Japan of all. So I just wanted to try it and I loved it. So yeah, moving on. Perfume number five. So perfume number five is recently bought, and uh, it is my favorite perfume of all. A friend of mine got it from Dubai, but uh, I love that fragrance which he applied on his body, and I was like, "Do I want it? Like, I want it." And luckily, in, in this area called Camp in Pune, there's this guy who sells amazing stuff imported from Dubai, like. He's got a very nice premium cuisine shop in camp and if you guys want the address you can just DM me, I'll let you all know Pune people and yeah so this is Lacoste and this is the perfume which I used today because I love this one. The bottle looks like this and it has a nice crop here which I think is on a velcro and it comes off. So yeah, this perfume cost me around 5,000 rupees in India and you and you get this perfume for around 3,800 in Dubai if you go in there and uh, it smells. If you guys want to buy this perfume, I would give it a 10 on 10 because this perfume is so... I don't know, I just love this perfume, so I, I just, if people who use this perfume can just comment below and tell me how was your experience in this perfume. It stays for, all the perfumes which I reviewed right now were, they stay like for a long time and I think they stay on your body and your clothes even after you wash them, so they are so strong. That number six is by the brand Zara and it is 92 Champs Paris. So a collection designed in glitter. So this perfume has glitter and I just love it. Revincing of the 80s glitz and glam and the vibe of big cities. So yeah, the packaging is like so. So it opens like this and the box, yeah. So this is the perfume and can you see guys, it has glitter inside. And when you apply it on your body, you get glitter. I mean, not, not that much that it looks showy or something, but it's very nice. It feels princess like. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Paris perfume from Zara, and I love it. It, it is also very feminine and mild on the chin and stays for a long time. These perfumes basically are to be put on your wrist. Your, uh, below your ears, like here and here, they give out heat. Those points give out heat, and when you apply perfume there, it, it is like more vibrant. You know. So this perfume costed me around fifteen hundred uh, at the Zara store, and I think this is the best perfume. This is by the brand Zara again and Zara Orchid and these are like mini little perfumes which I keep in my bag like when I'm going to meet someone or an event I just take my perfume and I'm going to cook. So this perfume, this perfume is very floral, very very floral like it doesn't even like it, it's not strong like it's very floral and mild and I like such perfumes I like perfumes too I like I like strong perfumes and like half of the perfume collection I have at home is immense. So I'm just showing you all my absolute favorites. I'll do a next video where I'll show you my uh, usual perfumes which I use. So this is Zara Orchid and it cost me something around 700 bucks in Zara at the Zara store. Perfume number 8 is again by the brand Zara and this is Red Vanilla. This perfume. It's very loungish, like I don't know loungish, but yeah, when I'm going clubbing or somewhere like that, I put this perfume while getting out of the car again, and it's very nice. Like I've had so many people asking me, "What do you put on your body?" And I'm like, "It's 
Express by Love and Zara. Again, it costs me around 700 bucks and with taxes. Number 10 is an uh, okay, so Atar, Itar, or Itra, how do you pronounce it? I really don't have I, any idea about it, but I am a fan of these little bottles because they they smell really good okay and this one you don't get it in india you get it in dubai and i told you about the guy who sells exquisite premium stuff from uae had this in collection and he told me that ma'am you just use it and i'm sure you're gonna come looking for it so basically this atar marhaba is okay the name is atar marhaba okay and the bottle is like this tiny little bottle that has a roll on Wow, this smells so good. It smells like soap, you know. Like those fake premium luxury soap stolen trees that she used. It's really nice. My absolute favorite. I got this after I got this after for 3,000 rupees, and it's expensive. I know. My mom was really pissed at me for getting this, but my love for perfumes is a param par. You cannot even. Like compare my love for perfumes. So yeah, I got this Atar Marhaba from the guy. And if you want, I can really give you the address. But okay, just you just get it in Pune. Okay, you don't get it anywhere else. Or if you have a friend or a relative in Dubai, you can get it for you. Nice stuff. Perfume number eleven is again an Atar. So this is a wax based Atar. It was given to me by my really really close friend. And. Um, he also got it from Dubai, and the bottle is like sea soap. And um, okay, this smells really nice. It, it, it is it is wax like in texture, and it has a it, it doesn't come with a roll on. It has a thing which you dip inside and then get it off and put it on your wrist and sew it wherever you want to. But this is like my absolute favorite, and that is why that's why it is in my favorite list. I don't know how much it costs. I'll have to ask him and let you all know. So yeah, this one is the best shiz ever. Perfume number 12 and 13 are again roll-ons. These are body roll-ons and one is uh, the cross body roll-on if you have heard about the perfume cross. I think everyone knows about it because it's a legendary perfume. And so I have a body roll-on for Kuros and I have a body roll-on for David of Cool Water and uh, okay I like David of Cool Water a lot okay even that perfume includes in my perfume list but then I think I've just I, I got done with the bottle and my mom gave it to the Diwala so that is gone but yeah these two roll-ons are nice I got them for 2000 rupees each and they are really strong and good do not forget to like share subscribe and ring the bell button down there because that's the drill and uh, please let me know in the comment section how did you like this video and please suggest me with the more ideas and more stuff that I can review for you guys till then bye bye see you and stay safe I can feel you